Today I want to show you the heated bed I made for my Lulzbot Mini. It's uh, made of Velcro and reflective insulation. The reason I made this was that I was having some problems with my baby best parts warping. In this picture you can see three of the test prints I did. The top one was with the heated bed. It's got the correct thickness and minor warping. The middle one was with the heated bed at 110 and it's severely warped and about 0.1 millimeters too thick. The bottom one was done with ABS juice and no heated bed and it is 0.1 millimeters too thin but has no warping. <laughs> several tests to determine the temperature of the bed in relation to the setting. Uh, with the bed set at 90 degrees, it heats up to 82 degrees Celsius. The reason I turned down the bed temperature was I read online that 110 is dangerously close to the glass transition temperature of ABS. So the reason I might get that, be getting that warping right near the bed is because it's too hot. And with the heated build chamber, I should still be able to print without it coming off the bed because it won't be warping as much during the print. Two hours into my final test print you can see the build chamber is at 48C so it's got a good temperature to prevent cracking and warping and bed delamination. Here's a shot of Lulzbot with a heated build chamber attached in with my FLIR lepton module. You can see there's some heat leaking out where some of the Velcro is. The Rambo is pretty cool. You can see that's the black box on the left. And the reflective panels are pretty much the same as ambient. That was the position of the thermal couple during testing. It's about the center of the Lulzbot Mini and we got up to 48 degrees Celsius. You can see here the ABS juice printed part, how it is 0.1 millimeters too thin. Here is the part I printed initially with just a heated bed and no build chamber, 0.1 millimeters too thick. You can see the final print. It is a little bit short, 0.5 millimeters short. It's supposed to be 140, it's 139.5. And here's its thickness of the thin wall, 2.5, right on the money. And the thicker part of the wall, 5 millimeters, right on the money. Here's a comparison of the first three which you already saw earlier. And there is the final print compared to the bed at 110. So the top print was done with the heated bed at 110 in the heated build chamber and the lower one was done with the heated bed at 90 degrees. So by lowering that below the glass transition temperature we were able to remove that distortion near the bottom of the bill or near the build plate. Okay, I have one last thing to show you. This is the ABS juice print. You can see I used some black ABS juice on there. Now this one came out thin, but in addition to that it also cracked in several places. And the heated build chamber there was no cracking at all. So that's another major plus of that. This has got some really beefy cracks. I don't know if you can see that one right there. But it, yeah, three big ass cracks. So that's another thing the heated build chamber fixes. I hope you all enjoyed that video. That project actually wasn't expensive or difficult. It only took about two hours to make and I got everything I needed at Lowe's, just some Velcro and that insulation. 
And I hope if you were thinking of putting a heated build chamber for better ABS prints on your little spot mini, that will give you a good idea how to do it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.